Hi, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this article, Nancy Pelosi was stunned into silence by this impeachment betrayal. Nancy Pelosi led the Democrats down the path of impeachment, expecting United Party support. Pelosi thought wrong, and now Nancy Pelosi was stunned into silence by this impeachment betrayal. Tennessee Republican Lamar Alexander's declaration that he would vote no on subpoenaing new witnesses meant the impeachment trial was headed toward a verdict. There is no doubt that means the Senate will acquit the President. The only question remaining is will the President receive a bipartisan exoneration with some Democrats joining Republicans in voting to acquit the President. South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham said he is optimistic that will be the case. I'm increasingly optimistic that Republicans will move to a final verdict before Tuesday. The President will be acquitted in a bipartisan manner. We are not blocking anybody's witnesses. We're just not going to legitimize the House choosing not to call a witness. Dump it in our lap and put us in a spot where if you call the witness, you'd be bailing the courts out of judicial review of impeachment, Graham told reporters. Nancy Pelosi's latest talking point is that President Trump can't be exonerated because Democrats were denied a fair trial after Republicans blocked witnesses. But that talking point collapses if some Democrat senators vote to acquit. Three Democrat senators, Kristen Sinema of Arizona, Doug Jones of Alabama, and Joe Manchin of West Virginia, are all in red states and considering voting to acquit President Trump on at least one of the two articles of impeachment. If even one of these Democrats votes for acquittal, Nancy Pelosi will have to answer for how the president wasn't exonerated if Democrats in the Senate also voted to acquit the president.